is going on guys my name is pokey rev and welcome to the pokey cave guys today we have another mail day video now if you guys haven't seen any of the videos in this series yet basically i have a bunch of mail here still packed up and hasn't been opened yet we're going to open it all together because it's all items that i purchased over the last week or two so let's jump right into it the package number one coming in a flat rate bubble envelope so let's hopefully not cut anything here when we get into this I'm gonna start off with oh okay there it is we have a black and white legendary treasures booster box i've never owned one of these so i'm really excited to add this one into the collection so let's check out the artworks on the side and on the back here on the other side there so looking really good you got mewtwo on the top as well really awesome so yeah i just i've never owned this set or this box before and i definitely want to complete my booster box collection eventually so that is one that i need so starting off strong with a black and white booster box but let's keep moving along here and see what we have in package number two so this one's coming in priority mail medium flat rate box so hopefully this one isn't too difficult to get into but at the same time we want to make sure that everything was packaged very nicely okay so we have a bunch of newspapers that should work. <laughs> that should definitely work. And then we have, okay, plastic bags. Oh, it comes right off to reveal. We have, boom, one, two, diamond and pearl stormfront booster boxes. Now, if you guys saw, we opened up one of these live pretty recently, about a week or so, a week ago or so, and that was awesome. We got the Charizard. So if you guys missed that, make sure you check out that video. But I still needed one for my collection, and then as well as another one to use as possibly to trade for other items and things like that so there's different things we could do with the items that we get in here in the poke cave we can open up some we can trade we can add to the collection um but yeah so i think diamond and pearl stormfront is a really good set that's still undervalued in my opinion especially because of that charizard that you can pull out of there so i thought i would grab a couple of them as well so we're gonna keep moving along and most of the stuff i get is gonna be off of ebay for the most part or some of the higher end uh, collectible stores that are pretty well known but here we go we're gonna keep moving along here we have another package all right let's see okay I know what this one is so check that check this one out this is actually a trade so I don't I'm not gonna own whatever's in this box I'm middle manning it so it's going from one person to another person and I am simply the person in the middle that's gonna take care of everything with this to make sure that the item is legitimate but I think let me leave a comment right now if you guys can guess what is in this box it's pretty epic and i'm definitely a little jealous i'm not gonna lie that i'm not getting this but hey it's still an awesome thing to just get into the poke cave and, and look at and appreciate and show you guys so this is packaged pretty well here we have it in the bubble wrap so i'm going to be very careful here to open this up and make sure we keep it fully protected but voila we have Boom. This is from the E-Series. This is the last Wizards of the Coast era booster box to ever be made. This is Skyridge. Now, you can pull Crystal Charizard out of this box. It is a really good set. One of the most expensive sets. If you saw my top most expensive booster boxes, this is up there very high. Uh, so if you check this out, some of them have this sticker here. It's Nintendo Game Boy Advance E-Reader. Um, currently available in North America and Latin America. The official launch of e-reader is in Europe is pending So they put these stickers on some of these boxes. So this one looks very clean. It looks mint It looks like it's straight from a case. So that one is going to be going out to the person um, That is is getting it in the trade or the purchaser whatever they're working out I'm just in the middle uh, passing the item along to make sure it gets to the next person safely. So guys We're gonna keep it going. Let's get a big box this one's huge. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll show you on this other camera here. Uh, but it's in a big box from Lowe's. And it feels pretty light, so I'm not really sure what is in here. I took all the tracking numbers and labels off, so it's hard to see. Okay, whoa. First off, what is this? Okay, we have... Ooh, this is a Funko Pop. Organization 13 Mickey 2018 Summer Convention Limited Edition. So I didn't order this. Uh, so this is either somebody threw this in for free or I accidentally got this in the mail, but we'll find out soon to go to the next item. That's really awesome. I have a pretty decent uh, collection of Funko Pops in my collection room, which I'll show you guys one time if, you, if you're interested, but that is awesome. Um, my kids love Di uh, Disney. I love Disney and that's, and that is Kingdom Hearts actually. So I love that game. Kingdom Hearts. Well, let's see. All right. So it's coming in a hyper Xbox. So I believe... 
in here should be an item that I purchase, and maybe that was just an extra that they threw in, which I really appreciate. So let's see what we have in the Hyper Xbox. Boom! All right, so we get we do have some extras here. Thank you, PokeRev. Welcome to the Poke Cave. Yes, I love it. Bonus goodies from Poke Market uh, 92. Adrian Z, follow T Rockets Collectibles. Enjoy the two pack blister. Okay, yes, this is what I purchased. Oh, oh, we got a bunch of extras. Thank you so much for the extras, Poke Market 92. Make sure you guys go check them out. Oh, we got Detective Pikachu booster packs as extras thrown in here. That is so sick. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I did go see this movie and I got a pack at the movie theater. Opened it up right before the movie started, which was really cool. So thank you so much for these extras. We have, okay, it looks like we have some cards in here as well. Ooh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. No way, we gotta get Ruxin in here. This is looking really cool. Oh, we should go through all of these maybe in another video. Wow, thank you so much. If you guys don't know, I have a pretty decent Yu-Gi-Oh collection here. Uh, and I could go through my collection of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff if you guys want to see it. But, oh, okay, these are from the Dual Terminals. Oh, these are so sick. Thank you so much. I think I'll go through and do maybe a Yu-Gi-Oh video. And I'll include these in that video as well. Really appreciate that. So cool. Um, definitely didn't have to do that. We got the Tota dial on the front there. That's the sticker. And this is a Yu-Gi-Oh. Um card box and we got a little ho-oh uh sleeve there thank you so much but here's the main course it's wrapped up under here so check it out guys i purchased this blister pack now i believe this is dragon frontiers is like the main booster pack i was going for then you have the evolutions cards here um and then what is the last pack you know what i'm actually not totally sure i forget um yeah, I forget what that pack is, uh, what set that's from, but yeah. Uh, so, guys, I was thinking maybe of opening this up on the channel. It's not in the best conditions. If you guys see, it has a lot of creases and stuff. Um, I got it for a reasonable price as well, which was really cool. So, I'm really thinking about it because that these packs would be unweighed coming out of this blister pack, which would be awesome. And we get the evolutions. Let me know, guys. Leave a comment down below if you'd want to see this opened up on the channel. But let's keep moving along here. Again, thank you so much uh, for the extras. That's too cool. All right, so next up, let's go into this box. Uh, we still have like four more total boxes here of items, so let's see what we get out of this one. This one says handle with care, fragile. So let's see, I don't know guys. It, I, I Like I said, I took the labels off, so it's hard to, oh yes, yes guys, check this out. I've never seen this before and I found it on eBay and I was so stoked to find it. This is, a Pokemon Gumball Bank. So if you check it out, there's Pikachu there. It's like a kind of like rubber. And then you have your gumballs here. They look like they've gone bad, but hey, still awesome. I could swear that I had this as a kid. I don't know for sure, but it's official. 999 or 55591 is the number on the side there. You got the nutrition facts. This is like the original Pokemon like logos and everything. So I'm sure the year on this is probably like 99 or 2000, I'm going to say. 2000 candy planet all rights reserved boom guys how cool is that original pokemon gumball bank and it's still sealed never been opened never been touched or anything like that but it's got a price on there five bucks i definitely didn't pay five bucks for it um i think i paid maybe 30 i'm gonna say but either way i think even 30 bucks is awesome but yeah guys so let's keep moving along here and see what else we have i really like that and that's like some of the one-off items that i'll purchase once in a while um just to kind of get them so here's another box. I'll show you guys here. It's pretty big, so I'm just going to open it up down here, and we can see what we got in here. Um, all right, here we go. Ooh, okay, so this, here we go. All right, so you guys, you guys might enjoy this. I've got, I think there's three in here. Yeah, I think it's three or four. But anyway, check it out. This is the Spectacular Samurai Box Black and White Era. So check it out here. You have a bunch of different black and white era packs. Um, one awesome Samurai figure. Um, one specially selected foil DeWatt promo card. Two Pokemon TCG booster packs. And one Blue Assault theme deck from black and white. So check it out. I just had to get this. I don't know why. Sometimes I just buy things randomly because I like them. But um, that's pretty much everything that I do. <laughs> just buy things randomly because I like it. And uh, yeah. So this, I don't know what the two packs are in here. I can't see what 
Um, I think it said it on the listing what they were, and I totally forget. But yeah, I got a, a, a decent amount of these. So the Samurai, I'm running out of space. Let me throw this back here. The Spectacular Samurai Box, black and white era. Got a bunch of them here. So let's see what else we have. All right, so we have a really big box on the floor here. Hopefully I get to this one. It's heavy. I think I know what's in here. So this one's gonna be cool. And it's gonna definitely be for the channel. There we go. Oh, okay. First of all, we got a little extras here. So it looks like they threw in AMC's The Walking Dead trading card season two. Ooh, season four, part two. That was an awesome show. I never got to finish that, but that was a cool show. Maybe I'll open this up for fun. I have a lot of really random TCGs as well that I want to go over with you guys, like booster boxes. You can see some of them back here, but I have a ton more different types of things. But anyway, we got a lot of different things here going on. AMC, The Walking Dead as an extra. But here's the main course. So I have never so I've never opened a booster box of this. I never owned any, but it's a pretty popular set right now, and it's getting a lot of traction. A lot of people like it. But here we go. This is heavy. This is a full case of burning shadows six booster packs in here so if you guys can see that i'll turn it like this it looks like they wrote on the side here what was in it but burning shadows uh six booster boxes so i actually got two cases there's another one in there i'm not gonna get it out but i have two cases of burning shadows so like you know we want to go through every single tcg set that was ever made by pokemon so for the newer stuff, I'm thinking of making it more mass openings. So when we get to something like this, I could do maybe six booster boxes so a lot of people can get in on it. Um, I don't know if I'll do six because that is a ton. That is a ton of booster packs, but maybe. But either way, I bought one case there for um, our live openings. And then I also have another case in there for just long-term investment. So it's a good set. It's got Charizard and I definitely think maybe hanging on to it will be worth it. But we'll see. But either way, I got another one. And then, we have one more box, if I can get to this one. There we go. Now this one is a huge box. So I'm definitely gonna open it up right over here. And I don't know what's in it, because I always forget. But it should be something good. I mean, I don't know if a bigger box is always mean it's gonna be something better, but it should be good. And I totally, oh, okay. I purchased this like two weeks ago. Some stuff takes a while to get here, but this is actually sick. So check it out. This is a factory sealed Burger King. Let me see if I can show you on this camera. Burger King winner uh, case. So back in the day, they had the original Pokemon toys that they gave out at Burger King. And I don't know how many there are. There's a ton of different ones, but this is a whole case of them in here i think there's like a letter and everything for the winners it was some kind of uh giveaway excuse me or something like that but every toy in here from the entire set from burger king i think it was 99 or 2000 or something like that um and they had some winners and they gave out cases to each of the winners and i, I think some guy has a bunch of cases for whatever reason but yeah so i'm thinking of doing something really cool with this I don't know, it'd be really w different, but I was thinking maybe you guys would want to do something like this for um, a live opening. Like maybe each person get one of these um, packs in here or they're not really packs, but they're toys, but you can't see what's in each one of them. So it'd be like blind bags. Maybe that'd be cool. I don't know. Maybe I'll open them myself. I, I don't really know yet, but like I said, I buy stuff like this and I, I, get, I get it in and then we figure it out as we go. Um, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much all the items here. There's a lot of stuff, so I, I won't go through it again at the end of the video because you guys pretty much saw everything. But yeah, that is going to do it. Uh, that's the mail day <laughs> for this week. So yeah, guys, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and that is going to be it. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.